Hi friends, happy Friday. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you for joining me for Friday Sews and a big thank you to Jen from Today and Jen's Sewing Room for starting this hashtag. My son is sleeping right now, so I'm gonna to try to make it short so I can get back to sewing. So a couple little small projects and then a big project that I'm working on. Boop, that's a little peek. Okay, first, remember the other week when I said that I put in a lining on this blue skirt, big blue maxi skirt. It's really pretty. New look, 6516. This is my son's artwork. <laughs> anyway, well, and I put a new lining in it and it bled. I pre-washed it and I forgot my color sheets, which I now have, but it bled and turned this whole fabric kind of turquoise which it was, but then it like turned even the flowers turquoise. So this is it after I tried this stuff called Color Run Remover that I got off Amazon. It did whiten the flowers a bit and the yellow is a bit more yellow. So before everything was kind of this turquoise color. Now, if you just see this and you don't know what it originally looked like, it's still pretty, right? <laughs> it is pretty. But then I brought out what it originally looked like. I've got some scraps. Okay, let me show you. See all these beautiful purples and pinks and yellows? And that's just not there. But it is better than it was. But I do miss this. <laughs> oh well but that was a little project that I did I've been um, my mom is here with me my husband went on a trip to a tropical island for his work such a hardship <laughs> so he's been calling at the end of the day oh it's been a long day I'm like right anyway we if, if it wasn't still kind of COVID-y times we would have been on that plane. He's having a great time. And anyway, so I've been taking care of my son more this week, or I always do, but I've been having less time to sew. This skirt, <laughs> which I'm wearing, um, which is the same pattern. It got a little tear in it. It got pulled tight. I sat down on the couch. I jumped on the couch with my son and it kind of ripped in a straight line, but I just put some fusible interfacing on it and stitched over it. You can't even see it, which I love. I also got some new fabric. Well, some more fabric that, so remember I had this fabric that I absolutely love. This, I made the Pattern Emporium My Embrace cardigan with it. Gosh, I love this. Isn't it lovely? This is from Serge Fabrics. It's a French terry and it feels amazing. It's got rayon and poly and cotton, I think, in it. Um, but I just love it. But I want to wear it all the time. And with this print in a kind of cardi, I feel like some people might think I'm wearing a lounge, like pajama kind of wrap. So I decided, after thinking about it for weeks, I decided to go ahead and purchase more fabric and make a dress or something that I could wear all the time with it. So this is it, I got two yards, and now I need to figure out which dress pattern I want to use. <laughs> of course, the perfect, the perfect pattern is what I'm looking for, so yeah, I'm still figuring that out. So those are the little things I've been doing. Okay, the big project I've been working on, I have had this fabric in my stash. Oh my gosh, it's for a long time. I say a long time, a couple months, right? <laughs> and it is so divine. I couldn't figure out what to make it into, but, oh, my son's awake. Hi friends, well, you know what happened. <laughs> It is now Sunday. The bad news is I didn't get out Friday sews on Friday, but the good news is that I got my dress finished. First, I'm gonna show you it 
as I would probably wear it with the waist ties tied. And here I've tied them in the front. In this video, I am wearing little um, sneakers with it that don't match, but they're just placeholders for when I get shoes that actually work with this dress because I don't currently have any that would. I tried on all of them, but no. I liked the sporty look that the sneakers had with it. I might get a color that would go with this dress. And then in the video, I show you what it looks like without the straps, the ties tied. So you can get an idea of what the general shape of the dress is. If you like a more loose, flowy look, uh, then you don't have to put the ties. But I'm really glad that I did put the ties. Okay, so let me talk about some of the changes that I made to this pattern. I think it says to go by your upper bust, which mine is a 35, 35 inches, which would put me at a size 12. And then my bust with the bra that I want to wear with this dress was a 38 and a half, which would put me in a size 14. So the instructions say, if you are two or more sizes different in your bust, then do a full bust adjustment. And obviously mine is just one size difference. Different? But I went ahead and did a half inch full bust adjustment. The cool thing was, this was my first time doing a full bust adjustment and it was actually pretty fun. Kate, uh, the designer, has a tutorial walking you through everything. She makes it really easy. I was able to do it with no problem. I did first twall it just a straight size 12 and I felt like with the full bust adjustment it would have a better fit and it definitely did. It fit perfectly. You can see here, this is the front bodice piece. Uh, this is the center front and you can see where I've it's been like cut and then there the pattern does have waist starts. Where did I cut it? Oh, I guess I cut it here here yeah and down here so some extra was added there this extra paper right here was added with the full bust adjustment you end up also having side darts uh are those side darts you know front right there <laughs> uh, which isn't on the main pattern the other thing i did was i realized that i needed to decrease the height of the waist darts by two inches so i went ahead and did that and then I found that, so they have a wide strap option or a skinny strap option. The wide strap, I think was gonna be one inch wide. And for me and the bras that I wear, I just felt like I was still going to have bra straps showing, which I didn't want. I knew that would bug me. So I looked at another top I have that covers my bra straps pretty well. Those straps are an inch and three quarters. So I went ahead and adjusted the pattern for that, which means that I also had to add width here. This is where the strap connects in, in the front. So this is this part. So I added width here. So then I tapered this down, which I really like. It has a deeper V than the original pattern um, has. It, the original one, see how it's just a little bit of a softer V? This one has a bit a bit bigger V. Like it doesn't show anything. It's not deep in that way, but you see what I'm saying. And then I found that even with those different changes, my the side of my bra was going to show. So I added this half an inch here at the top of the arm side and then just tapered it down into the base of the arm side because I, yeah, something like that. It was showing right here. So I added half an inch here. I decided I wanted a midi length, which for my size, it says would I would need three yards of fabric. I made it out of two and a half. Yeah. <laughs> the other thing I ended up doing was I decreased the width of these waist ties. So I think I cut them in half widthwise, and they're still this wide. So I think I would 
I mean, ideally, I would like them even smaller than that. You don't have to turn them through. They're just top stitched along the edge. So I think I'd prefer those smaller. Um, but I'll talk more about that in a minute. And what I ended up doing for the hem was I made the midi length, but when I tried it on, I just didn't like that length on me. So I ended up taking off three and a half inches from that length. And I actually, I really like the length now and it works for my lifestyle. I have to squat a lot. <laughs> and so it really, it covers everything. And I actually really like the narrower kind of tier on the bottom. I think it looks really nice. I was also able to save some fabric by using, this is some cotton voile for the lining. So the bodice is fully lined, the skirt is not lined. And for this fabric, it's a really good rayon chalet that I don't think needs to be lined on the skirt. It doesn't show anything. So let me tell you what I would do differently next time so far. I only just finished this dress and really what I've noticed is that sometimes if I video my response to a make right after I've made it, I am sometimes not sure about it. But after I wear it for a little bit, different things that bugged me at first just don't bug me after a while, you know? So I'm gonna give this dress some time. I do like it. There are some things that I would do differently. When I did the full bust adjustment, I need to lower the front bodice. I need to add about half an inch at the center front and then taper it off because when I see how it kind of comes up a little bit and it goes down. So it just needs to be about half an inch longer to match that back seam. I don't want to look like um, an empire waist dress. I that look does not go well with me, with my body type. So I think lowering that will be really good. The other thing I thought, because I'm, I'm just not big into ties, it makes me feel like a little girl when a dress has ties like that. Now, when I did tie it in the front, so at first, I guess it feels like a little girl if I tie it in the back with a little bow and I'm like, Bleh. I'm like, that's just not me. But <laughs> when I tied it in the front with a cute little bow, I didn't mind it. And it, it meant that, oh, I don't need a belt and it cinches everything in. I don't have big long ties, so I actually like that look. But another option that I was thinking of, see, that's it, basically. I don't mind that. Another option I was thinking of is what if, I, I realize that it takes it in about two inches on each side, the ties do. So if I put some elastic into each side from maybe from there to there on each side and got it where it would pull it in the same, you know, two inches, but kind of extra gathers right there essentially, then it would still stretch enough to get over my head to put it on because there's no, there aren't any zippers or buttons or anything. But then it would kind of cinch it all in as well without having the ties. So I think that could be something to experiment with. The other thing I would do is add an angle in the shoulder strap. <laughs> so when I widened this, the original pattern piece it looks like a rectangle and it has a little bit of an angle on the top. And I thought, what the heck is that there for? And I just made a rectangle that was bigger for these straps. But what I realized later is that that little angle goes here. Let's see if I can do this without, yeah, it goes here. And so it just holds the strap to the body a little bit better, I guess. Nobody would notice. It looks fine, but I would just add that back in case that angle kind of makes the straps fit even better. But they don't fall down. They're great. I'm going to do the um, thread loops for my bra straps. 
I'm gonna follow the tutorial from Teresa from Lost My Thread. One concern I have about this dress, it is very flowy and it feels like with a really strong gust of wind, it might blow up. When I initially tried it with just two tiers, which, oh, look, my hair's all over. I tried to make it look like I actually fixed my hair. You know what, wonder clips, let's see how that works. <laughs> Um, but I didn't, because I've been painting again, folks. I've got like white paint. There's a big streak in my hair. Anyway, that's why I decided to go for a longer length as well, because I thought it would give me a better chance of not mooning the neighborhood. <laughs> but either way, I think some shorts underneath this dress would be a good idea. And with this dress, I wanted something that was practical, but didn't make me feel frumpy. I wanted to feel like still elegant and pretty, you know, with this like, just this beautiful fabric without, but still be able to do everything I need to do, you know, running around with my son or going to the park or going for a walk without having to change clothes five times a day, you know, or wear leggings all day long. Because I have done that for years and I'm really trying to find other clothes that work for my lifestyle that aren't just black leggings. I love me some black leggings, but I'm trying to expand my horizons, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so anyway, I will let you know um, what I think about it after I've worn it a little bit and I'm going to look for some shoes that will go well with it so that I can wear it. All right, I think that's it for some Sunday sews. <laughs> that's it for Sunday sews slash Friday sews slash, oops, when is she gonna get this video out? I don't know. All right, well, I oh, and my husband came back from his tropical vacation and, well, it's a work trip. I mean, he was working hard, but he was looking exhausted today. And part of me was like, oh, maybe I should let him take a nap. And the other part of me was like, oh, hell no, you've been <laughs> taking care of a toddler by yourself. Well, with my mom. For um, for like four days, he, he can just uh, perk up a little bit. And I'm just going to have time to myself. So that's what I decided to do. Oh, so my plans for this week are going to be a little different. I want to go through my closet and go through everything I have because now I have some summer dresses that are store-bought. I was like, what's that word? Pre-made? I don't know. Store-bought dresses that are fitting me once again. And so I want to get out and really see what do I have? What can I wear? What can I not wear? What do I need? You know, like my pretty rayon shorts that I made a couple weeks ago, I can't wear because I, I still don't have any tops that go well with them. I made a couple that I thought would go, but they just don't. It They don't look great. So things like that, you know, to make, to figure out what clothes I have and before I just jump into sewing something else. That's what I'm going to do. And then at the same time, see like what accessories do I need? Or what shoes do I need to go with this kind of outfit? You know, those kinds of things. So that's what I'm gonna be working on this week. Oh, sounds like the ice cream truck is coming. Don't know if you heard that, but. All right, well, I hope you have a great Sunday and <laughs> weekend and a week and I'll talk to you later, bye.